Okay guys, this is a course in Blender for 3D character creation, even two of them. And this is the best course of this type in the world. Are you sure about that? Okay, okay. It's at least one of the best courses. But it's a course with no speed ups, all in real time, from scratch, with constant explanation and narration by me. And you will ask, but Nico, who are you? And you will be right to do so. I am Nico, and I'm a 3D character artist with over 15 years of experience in the game industry. I also have more than 15,000 students in my online courses for Blender, ZBrush, 3D character creation, female and male anatomy. And obviously a YouTube channel with over 50,000 subscribers. Not bad. In this course for intermediate Blender users, we will do these characters and the concept is from the great artist Tooth Wu. It will be completely and only in Blender. We will talk about a lot of things that can affect the mind of a 3D character artist while working, sculpting, modeling and rendering. We will start with making the dragon head, making sure we're following the concept closely. Then we will make the dragon's body, arms and legs. We will of course make the very important dragon wings or membranes. After that it will be a time to start making the rider. We will start with his head, then his body and arms, and continue with the magnificent feather crown which is the crown jewel of the whole piece. Following, we will sculpt the dragon tail and model the spear of the boy. After, we will do some refinements, we will start the scariest part of the sculpt, the scales. We will do them carefully, not to hurt the poor dragon. During this colossal task, I will talk about a lot of things, so you will never be bored, hopefully. Then will be time for long rest and spend time with your loved ones in a tropical island. No, in reality, we will have to continue with coloring the dragon, which we will do with great honor and some interesting brushes and techniques. Using those techniques, we will then color the boy and his accessories too. We will spend some time to work on the rock, since it's also an important part of the whole model. Then it will be time to pose the dragon and fix some problems. After that, we will easily rig and pose the boy's arms and fingers matching the concept. And at the end, we will add some lights and I will explain how you can achieve a nice render of your models with even a turntable video with transparent background. I know this all sounds too good to be true, but it obviously is true. So, for your own good, I hope you will find inspiration in this video which will be the fuel you need to start doing these characters in Blender with or without my help. It is an intermediate Blender course, so indeed if you are inspired but you haven't touched Blender before, I will suggest my Absolute Beginner 3D Character in Blender course, which will fill up the gap between Absolute Beginner Blender user and this level required for this Dragon Rider course. This is a Wingfox exclusive course, so make sure you check out my promo link in the description of this video to see if it clicks with you. But either way, I hope you have a blast with over 16 hours of video content in this course and I will be glad to see your results after we finish it. Let's do this together! To see if it clicks with you. <laughs> so make sure you check my promo link in the description of the video to see if it clicks with you. If it clicks. If it doesn't click, I don't know. But clicking is very important because if you don't click, most of the time you will not be able to do anything on your computer because most of the time you will need to have a mouse. And mouse, oh, most of the time, again, clicks. If you don't click, if it didn't click, you are doomed. You just will not work. But... Maybe you are so experienced with your tablet that you can use your computer without ever using your mouse. See, this is the mouse. This is my mouse. And it clicks. <laughs>